Okay, I just sorted that out, so let's turn the volume up. There we go, about 15, should be about 1.5 amps. What I was going to do, oh yeah, I was going to stick the old um, ion motor on. I've lost it. Oh, here it is. The table's got that many wires on it. <laughs> Trying to say that when I play. Let's just double check our connection there. Let's take that off just for a moment. Try that again. Yeah, it says it does want to play. So it's happy to play like that. But it's just not happy to play like that. So if I turn it all the way off, let's check that out and start from there. There we go. There we go, it's going to start spinning the other way. Get that one down a little bit. So we've got 16 volts. Oh, we can't get a really good view from there. We'll turn on the full box, I just want to see what we've got. So that's pretty cool actually. It's a lot of motor. Uh, we could do have a better view of this, couldn't we? So let me just turn up and down again. Stop the darn thing. Let's move that meter out of the way. And see if I can do this without the whole thing falling to pieces. There we go. Is it going to stay still? Easier, easier, easier. There we go. That should do it, shouldn't it? So we've still got a little tiny little movement on it, so we can keep that momentum going. Oh. There we go. I'm probably sitting by the back one, I'm not really sitting to sweep the heart of my sunscreen. Pumps, 20 volts. So, uh, 50 volts on the, um, it's about like 20 volts. Put a good down, let's lock this in and see. So it's pretty bad. There's our sine wave, so we know we're, it says we're at, uh, I think that says 630 kilohertz. Yeah, 627, 63. That's at 22 volts. That's 25 volts. He's only moving like that on the sine wave because he's getting past the. Maybe the probe, but just there is probably. So you play side, but I think it was pretty. You can do that now. You get it if you get it too quick enough. Just do that one continue roll it's on four feet. Let's just turn that down a second. I'll catch it before it hits any of these connections. No, I didn't. I need to turn it off. <coughs> yeah, so it's definitely better all round just having the two turns on this thing. Definitely better all round. It'd be nice if this was perfectly level and nice and it just all you know, stayed stay on there nicely, so you get a good old spin out. Let's 
So that's pretty good. I bet this bulb doesn't work anymore. I wonder what the temperature's like. Yeah. It's still that like lukewarm cup of tea type temperature. I bet this doesn't work anymore. I mean, I'm bitted. I mean, it's actually got holes in it, so I can't see. It, nah, it's just, that's not going to. It's not going to have any of that, is it? It's just reacted to me. Oh, gutted. That's quite upsetting. Never mind. What have we got? 2.7 volts, don't even like. Oh, about 18 volts. Maybe something. It's always a nice one with the old bulbs. Oh, that would be like 90 volts. Mm. It's just what I like. Oh, it's not bad. Pop them on top of it. Oh, went straight from your finger. Nice. <laughs> I can smell burning flesh now. That's always nice, isn't it? Where's my screwdriver? On my finger. No, it's not that bad for me. But it's like it still works, doesn't it? Yeah. This is a real simple circuit. I, I know you I put it on the other. This is going to be different now with the different capacitors. So let's say, what's that? It's 20, 22 volts. Let's just turn it up a little tiny bit. Let's say 25 volts, yeah? Can you see that? No, you can't see that. Put on the wire a bit here. There we go. 20, 24.8 volts. And you get one, what do you got for it? A couple of inches. Kicks in all about. Oh, I can handle it. It's quite a good distance actually. Maybe we should get a tape measure. I got one to hand. Sort of thing that will all know the songs of. Ah, just one right here, look. Oh no, this is metal. <laughs> so that's going to be quite hard to do, isn't it? <laughs> no, that's not going to work very well. You have to take my word for it, it's not fair. That's about an inch. Right. Oh, that's small on fire. Yeah, it's burning a little tiny bit. I think that must have been burning the um, uh, something. Just put a bit of plastic on there. Never mind, that's okay. We don't mind that. What else can I do with this thing? We big bulbs and that kid. We do little bulbs, we've done that. Oh, we're gonna change capacitor, aren't we? So I've got this little capacitor on at the minute. Um, we're gonna see if it's gonna make any difference. That's actually got no heat in it or anything like that. Um, 
let's try this electrolytic because we're going to do this on the polarity and these wires are set to the polarity I know there's an LED and there's a resistor because I was uh, putting around charging it, discharging it and washing it on the oscilloscope it's quite cool actually uh, if you like that sort of thing so let's turn it up a little bit uh, get back to about 25 volts I think the same as the uh, other one this is pushing this out of its boundaries really that's what it's supposed to be uh, 24.6 that'll do yeah let's yeah. see what we get I'm not sure this actually making any difference That's making much difference. Let's turn it down. Let's try a different capacitor. I think it's connected, isn't it? Yeah, it seems to be. Right, I'm gonna try this double ganger. Uh, this is like a 1200 volts AC or DC one out of two, and 0.33 um, nano hammers. Nano, 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 nano. Um, Nanofarads, so sorry, 0.33 microfarads, uh, 330 nanofarads a piece, so it's sort of like, you know, 68, whatever, uh, combined. So, and then with that, 25 volts again, so 40, 23, 24. There we go, 25.3, that's close to done. There we go, 25.1. Where's that screw right there? There it is. It's just doing a little time to break out all by itself. The screwdriver's back here, look. You can see that. That took some noise over here, so. So it's only using, well, it says 3.7 amps like that, but when I start doing this, it's like 2.1, 3.1, 1 1.9. So that's pretty good. Let's turn that down again, let's try another, another capacitor. I think that might have been a little tiny bit stronger than new ones. Now I'm going to try a, uh, this is a, uh, Six kilovolt ceramic. So let's try that. Oh, for some reason I can't seem to get me on the leg. It's not that difficult. It's got leads on it. The leads are slightly warm on this now, so I think that was actually doing a little bit of work. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to try it without a capacitor. We'll see how it just seems like. We've got one more capacitor to try. Alright, let's get that about right. Uh, 25.2, 20. There we go, we'll use that. Look, it's already at 2.9 amps. Just sat there by itself. Just try and see if it. See that breakout by itself, like it. I'm not sure if that's as good as the other ones. No, I don't think it is. I don't think that little swam is good. So, it's it says down to 1.6. And it's voltage to the wire feed is a little bit higher. Maybe it's. Maybe, uh, I don't know. I don't think. I mean, there's, it's not much difference, but I don't think that did as much as the, uh, the other couple. And the last one I'm going to try it on is this couple here. And this is what I use on my um, on my uh, MOSFET. Well, there's a combination of it, actually. There's a few of them I've been trying. Uh, different values of these ones. I've got some other ones here. These are slightly different value to that. But different value on the MOSFET. Um, the zero voltage switching circuit. And I built a Foyer uh, Royer circuit as well. It's up there, I've yet to test that as a heat inductor. 
Still got to play around with that yet. I haven't done anything with it. Just built it and left it. So what have we got? 24.5, this is like that. I'm doing my 22.9 amps. So why don't I turn this out slightly? To 25.1, now we're on 3.3. Just sat there by itself. That's drawing more current. Let's see if we get a bit more, a bit more action out of it. Okay, so we do, because that's just kicking out by itself, there again. So there is a difference between using the different, the different capacitors. I'm going to try one of these other single ones. And there's not much difference, but there is a difference when you're just trying to tune, because that's better than the other one. Uh, that's uh, ceramic capacitor. I'm going to try it now without uh, no, no, no. one more test with the capacitor with a different one. I'm going to try. Uh, I'm going to try one of these these uh, single uh, microwave uh, oven capacitors. Cooking capacity. You can find them in there. They're MK, M, MKPs. Uh, all of the ones that pop in strong MKPs. So let's plug this in. Get a bit of voltage. About 22, 24, 22, 24, that'll be. Not quite as much really while I'm just doing that. I need to just turn it down just for one second, just do a quick heat check. Oh, no, no, I still wouldn't drink it. It's still not hot enough to be a semi drinkable, lukewarm cup of tea. And the way you look at it is if uh, if the actual heat sink is cold, and my chip is just like, you know, oh, I've got no surface. It's not going to help, is it? <laughs> Probably killed it now. <laughs> ah, what did I do? What did I pull out? Did I pull that out? No, that's what I'm still looking at. Blow it round. Probably well, not the best connections going on here, but let's just uh, give that a quick check. Yep, that's it for here. So, uh, what were we? Uh, Twenty. 24, 24.1 and that's with yeah that single cooker but I think that's a 0 0.33 um, yeah yeah 0 .33, 0 0.33 okay now I'm going to see what it's like without a capacitor so I'm just going to undo these so there's absolutely no capacitor connected uh, temperature yeah still wouldn't drink it if it was a cup of tea too cold throw it away so if it's on no capacitor this time 25 volt let's switch more there we do 24.5 I'm not that impressed with the performance of the capacitors, that's if they actually perform at all. Um, drawing 3.3 amps at 25. Oh, it's not just going to turn up a little tiny bit, it's going to go 4. pretty good and that's with no capacity so I need to uh, check the wire on there it's not actually making I mean, you can argue that's actually better <laughs> without it so but it's still all very good fun hey this has gone off for way too long might have edited some bits out but cheers for watching anyway guys if there's any sort of questions, anything else you want me to try with this thing, I'll, I'll give it a go, so let us know in the comments. Turn it down. Shut it down. Bye guys.